Well, here's a question. If Jesus tells us to make disciples, how can we do it? Now, we've already already talked a little bit about this last week, but these lessons go together. And now we're moving from Matthew to the book of Acts. And we're going to be in the book of Acts a while. The answer is really simple. God gave us the Holy Spirit. We talked about that again last week. And the Spirit of God equips us and strengthens us to do amazing things. We have to remember that because sometimes people use the excuse of like, I can't do that to, uh, (laughs) to limit God. After Jesus' death and and resurrection, um, Jesus said these words to his disciples. As he was risen from the grave, he said this in Acts 1.8. You shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Um, We don't live in Israel. We don't live in Judea. We don't live in Jerusalem. Well, I don't know, maybe you're listening to this in another country and you do. But <laughs> but when we read the ends of the earth, that's us. So here we are. Let's go make disciples wherever we go. Wherever we go. And Jesus promised power. He promised the power of the Holy Spirit. Well, then what? The Holy Spirit comes upon us. And that word means to rest upon. As we ask the Lord, as we seek Him, Lord, fill me up. It is God filling us with His Holy Spirit to do His work. Um, You know, there's a lot of times, and I already mentioned this, where you say, I can't do that. And be aware, be wary of that. (laughs) Uh, I said, I can't talk in front of people. I said, I'm not called to do children's ministry. And furthermore, I can still remember a time when I told the Lord, puppets are stupid and I'll never do them. Puppet blasphemy. Yeah, I remember that. And yet now, I'm doing all those things. Why? Because I'm dynamic? No. No, no, no. Because the power of the Holy Spirit, the Lord has given me that desire. And with that desire, He equips me to do it. As God guides you, where God guides, God provides. He's going to strengthen you and empower you to do those things may not be perfect, may not be smooth. I mean, y'all listening to this video right now, I'm not a smooth talker. I'm still not. (laughs) But I have this desire to communicate God's Word. And so by His power of Spirit, by the power of His Spirit, I can do that. I'm glad that the Holy Spirit gives us power to do things for God. He even helped me to be a, a better cook to bless my friends. Ah, no, before you knew Jesus and you cooked for me, I thought I was going to die. I did. It tastes like cat food with a sprinkling of dirt. (laughs) Yeah, well, that's true. See, that reminds me. I got a joke to tell you about pizza, but uh, I can't, though. It's kind of cheesy. Ha, ha, ha. So just to kind of wrap this up, let's let's look at an acronym to remember what the Holy Spirit does. And I encourage you to look up these verses on your own. Make a really great Bible study. The acronym is POWER, P-O-W-E-R. P is promise. In John 14, Jesus promised the Holy Spirit. O is for overcomes. The Holy Spirit overcomes the world, and the Spirit also overcomes our weaknesses. It says in Romans 8.26, He overcomes our weaknesses. That's key. Witness is W, and we just read that in uh, Acts 1.8. We will be his witness. He'll give us the strength to witness, to be his witness. E for an encounter, encountering the truth of God. And it talks about that in John 16. The Holy Spirit will speak the truth about God, the Father. And R for remember. John 14, 26. I, I really appreciate that that verse so much because it tells us the Holy Spirit will be bring to remembrance what Jesus has said. This reminds us of what the Holy Spirit um, will do in our lives and continue to do as we seek Him and as we desire to step out in faith and to serve Him on a daily basis. And now it's time to dig deeper with Dudley. Well, I sure am glad that Jesus gives me power to help others by the power of His Holy Spirit. Yeah. Oh, it's so exciting. Even on days when things may be hard, the Holy Spirit gives me strength. 
Oh, yes. I think I will need uh, help and strength to uh, brush the cat. Mm, I do not think she likes it. She looks angry. Do not eat me, please. Do not eat me. Oh! Oh, that's okay, Punjab. If she gets mad, just bark like a dog. <laughs> Always remember, when you dig down deep, you got to hit rock. And uh, Jesus is our rock. Yeah! <laughs> Well, with that, let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for these promises we have in your word about what the Holy Spirit does in our lives. Equip us, strengthen us, Lord, by your Holy Spirit to do things for you, to be patient, to be loving, to step out in faith. We love you, Jesus, and pray all these things in your name. Amen. God bless you.